Hello fellow Vinglers, uh, in this video I'm going to discuss the LA Kings versus the San Jose Sharks for the first round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, this series is special because this series is going to be the first um, in, a, in our um, NHL slash NBA playoff challenge. So, this challenge is, is going to involve a a few rules that I'm going to specify right now and I'll lay these rules out in future challenge cards so that um, you don't have to come back to this video or memorize them but just to briefly run down how this is going to work so the, the reason I want to do the NBA and NHL challenges together is because I feel like we have some folks that will watch the, the hockey games, some folks that will watch the basketball games, but this should encourage you to uh, pay attention to both. So I, I want you to pay attention to these exciting series because I, I think this can help us all appreciate hockey and basketball more, and I, I think this is an exciting way to you know raise the stakes a little, so to speak. So how this is going to work is I'm going to have you guess the winner of the series and the number of games that you think the series is going to be settled in. So this works for the NHL and the NBA because they both do seven game series and they both have seven game series uh, from the first round up until the, the, the finals and they both have the same amount of teams so the structure of the playoffs is not that different for them uh, obviously the d divisional type of things are um, a little different the, the way the bracket and seating is set up is slightly different but that's not that important for the purposes of this challenge so the reason I'm choosing this series in particular is because I think this series is probably the most difficult one to predict out of all of these and the reason I say that is because these two teams have a ton of animosity towards each other, sort of like how the Blues and the Blackhawks do, but this one could get even uglier because these are also two of the more physical teams in the league. And especially the LA Kings. The LA Kings, um, who I really don't like, but that's my personal opinion, are probably one of the most physical teams in the league, and that's really... Uh, the strategy that they've used to uh, get win two Stanley Cups in the last several years. So this series is going to have a, a lot of animosity in it. And part of that is because these two teams are pretty close to each other. So the and the winner of this series um, will probably face the Anaheim Ducks, so we should expect two series in a row that should be very physical, very intense. And the other reason is because a couple years ago, well, last year both of these teams inexplicably missed the playoffs. So they're both pretty hungry for uh, to take the next step. And the other thing is, uh, my hockey fans will remember that a, a couple years ago, the Sharks actually went up 3-0 on the Kings in the first round and the Kings actually came back and won and that was devastating for San Jose and I think that they're going to come into this series with a chip on their shoulder and because of that I think they'll play up to the Kings level even though I don't think that they're quite as talented as the Kings are I think they will definitely play up I'm not saying they're not talented. The San Jose Sharks have uh, some very talented guys. They have great offensive players, great facilitators. But I think from top to bottom, the Kings are deeper. So that's why I think the Kings might have a slight edge in this series. And so just some of the impact players you should expect to see. Tyler Toffoli, Andrzej Kopitar, Jeff Carter, Milan Lucic. Uh, Joe Pavelski, Joe Thornton, Brent Burns, Patrick Marlowe, Thomas Hurdle, Tommy Wingles, etc., etc. You got tons of star power in this. This is this is a marquee matchup, and I'm super 
excited to watch these games because these are just going to be exciting. And um, you, you have in the LA Kings, um, they actually have four of the top 12 shot blockers um, in the league and also four of the top 10 hitters in the league. So they're really good on defense this year. And this is also a great series because it's going to be an excellent goal, goaltender battle. In the series a couple years ago where the, the Kings came back from down three, um, the Sharks had Antti Niemi, and he was really uh, inconsistent in those last few games uh, at the end of his time with the Sharks. So I think this is going to be a little different and probably a little better this year. I don't think the Sharks will collapse at all. I don't think they'll fade out. I don't think uh, they'll give up as easily because they have Martin Jones who has been stellar this year. They actually uh, acquired Jones from the Ducks. Uh, I think it was the Ducks, yeah. Um, and uh, they because they saw in him the potential to become a, a starter. And he really... Uh, stepped into that role quite nicely and he he put up 37 wins uh 2.27 goals against and about 92 point uh 92 percent save percentage and also recorded six shutouts so he had a pretty good year in his first uh like full year of playing so that's really promising for the future for the sharks and also for this series i think that should um give them a, a much better foothold as far as potentially upsetting the LA Kings. Now, of course, the LA Kings still have Jonathan Quick, who is probably the best butterfly goaltender in the league. Um, he has not dropped off or lost his edge at all. Um, he actually put up pretty similar numbers to uh, Jones. Uh, more wins, 40 wins, 2.22 goals against average, and uh, around, a, I think he had the exact same save percentage as Jones, so this is a pretty similar matchup. Uh, five shutouts, so expect a great series. Now, the reason I'm making this the challenge series is, like I said, this is incredibly hard to predict, because there's no clear edge that either team has over the other. Uh, the Kings are better defensively than they're more physical, but the Sharks probably also have better sharpshooters and goal scorers. So this one could really swing either way, depending on the tone of the series. And we'll be able to see that more when... Or that, that should be clear when they start to play, um, how these two teams are coming out of the gate. Um, because how they start could determine who wins and especially because I think in a in a series like this home ice isn't actually that big of of an impact just because they're so close to each other and the fans can easily travel between the arenas so yeah buckle up for a, a great ride so back to the challenge itself the rules of the challenge are going to be this so before the start of the series, before uh, um, before tip off or not tip off, before the puck drops, um, well tip off for the NBA games, but before the puck drops uh, in each or in game one, I need you to have submitted your prediction for who is going to win, and. Um, you predict the winner of the series and the amount of games, and you get points depending on how close you are to correct. So if you get the winner of the series right, that's two points. And if you get the number of games spot on correct, that's two more points. So if you get this, the, the winner of the series wrong, then you don't get any points for an incorrect answer. But you can still get consolation consolation points if it does go to game seven because I feel like game seven series uh, can really go either way and that means you were pretty close to correct so I think giving one point back for consolation if uh, you 
get the prediction wrong, but it goes to game seven is fair. And also, I, I will be giving a, a, a one point consolation point. If you are within a game of how correct uh, you are in the number of games it went to. So say you predict the LA Kings win in six games and uh, it turns out the LA Kings win in seven games then you would get two points for the correct team guess and you would get a consolation point for being only one game off from uh, the correct number of games that the series went to. However, if you pick the Sharks in six, you would get no points. And if you pick the Sharks in seven, then you would get one point. So I, I think that's a little confusing. Um, so I'll, clarif I'll clarify that in, in later cards, exactly what the uh, points system is going to be based around. But it's going to be a maximum of four points per series and obviously a minimum of zero but um, it shouldn't be um, too difficult I think to at least earn some points um, I, I, but I think this series I, I'm going to try to pick series that are good just so that you're not paying attention to a, a series that is boring or goes in four games because um, those tend to be snooze fests, I would say, very one-sided, and they're not a whole lot of fun as far as determining points. So this that's why I picked this one. So we'll see. Um, obviously, the, the teams that actually win are yet to be determined, but I'll figure out um, what series I want or that we'll do for the next round. And um, expect to see a card soon for uh, the NBA side of the challenge. Look out for those because um, you'll definitely want to participate in both if you want a shot at winning. Um, and I will announce the prize for winning this competition uh, at a later date. I still have to determine that. So I still need to give my prediction for this series. I think it's going to be LA Kings in seven. And I say that just because uh, I think they're more experienced at going deep. And this is also s similar reasoning to why I picked the Blackhawks in the uh, Blackhawks Blues series. I think it does come down to how clutch teams are in the playoffs. And the Sharks, kind of like the Blues, are not one of those teams that is clutch. They tend to be chokers. Uh, just look at going up three games on the Kings and, and f losing. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot of faith that they can turn it around. Even though they will come in hungry, and they I think they will take it to at least seven, or at least six, but probably seven games, I think the Kings will win this one. 